What if a toxic gas were to be released in a city? To save lives, officials would use computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, to predict where it would blow. Computational fluid dynamics can tell you what will happen because you have prepared the model of the city in advance. You are able to say when there's a release of gas at this point, where the noxious plume will go. With computational fluid dynamics, you can predict how materials will behave from the moment a tea kettle will boil to whether a new rocket will blow up on the launch pad. It can be used to predict the movement of liquids, the flow of air, the burning of fuels, and the interaction and response of solid objects. Its purpose is to predict what will happen as well as you can. Although the field existed before Spalding, he put it to practical use, replacing physical models with mathematical ones. He made it possible to apply CFD to real-world problems, including engineering heart valves, rocket engines, cars, and wind turbines. He grew up in suburban London, England. Like many bright children, he had to survive his curiosity in science. I just... Um, made myself a magnet by getting a, a bolt or something of that kind, putting it in the middle of a coil of um, copper wire, taking the two ends of the wire and placing them in the electrical outlet. Well, I didn't get my magnet, but I got a big bang and, and a certain amount of telling off for my parents. <laughs> Spalding's contributions began with his doctoral thesis at Cambridge University, in which he shed new light on combustion vital to improving jet aircraft and rocket performance. At the time, engineers studied airflow, heat transfer, and mass transfer separately. He demonstrated how these three problems could be combined into a single equation. Because of this division in the community, they have structural engineers to um, calculate the stresses in the solids. Um, through dynamic engineers to say what's the flow and the heat transfer. And they have two different computer programs which have to be in, in, in which have to interact. And that's, that's a difficult thing to do. Theory unification became Spalding's hallmark, including his unification theory for turbulent boundary layers, jets, and wakes. He aims much of his humor at himself, masking his brilliance with humorous modesty. That's um been the secret of my success. I've never known too much. I've uh, there'll be an empty space for ideas to get into. In 1969, he started the first consulting firm to offer CFD to solve engineering problems and named it CHAM. Which is short for concentration, heat, and momentum. Those are the things which we calculate all the time. He later created and sold CFD software, which further expanded the field. They put in information only of the kind which they do know. And then the results must come out in a way which they understand. Spalding is still hard at work and still full of ideas. Some of the best ideas are still unused because I didn't take enough trouble at the time to set them out. In my few remaining years, I'm going to rectify that. The 2010 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Mechanical Engineering is presented to D. Brian Spalding for his seminal contributions to the computer modeling of fluid flow, creating the practice of computational fluid dynamics in industry, and paving the path for the widespread application of CFD to the design of objects from airplanes to heart valves.